Hi, I'm Bob Cole. I'm the organiser, or worker part of the team, as one of the organisers of the Classic and Sports Car Weekend on the Isle of Man. Um, just like to take maybe five, ten minutes of your time just to go through what's going to be happening over the uh, weekend of the Classic and Sports Car Weekend, which is just over a, a month away now in May. Um, just so that you get a good idea of what's going on, what's happening, where and what to expect uh, once you get your road books through, hopefully in the next week or so. Um, we should hopefully be getting them out, I would think, within the next couple of weeks. So once you receive those, they'll come through your door. Not big enough to go through your letterbox, so watch out for that. Um, but your road book will give you all information and I'll go through some of that stuff with you now. Okay, on Thursday, you're gonna be arriving from Haysham or Liverpool, depending on your ferry crossing, coming into your hotel, and myself, Kieran, and Oliver will be there to greet you. Oliver will be at the Sefton Express, I'll be at the Best Western, and Kieran will be at the, Pal at the sorry, the Best Western Palace, that is, and Kieran will be at the Commerce Hotel. So we'll all be there to greet you when you arrive and answer any questions. There will be a big uh, flip chart up giving you all of the information as to timings and stuff, but that really replicates what's in your road book. So your road book is your Bible and that should give you all the information you need. So on Thursdays, just arrival, get checked in, get uh, relaxed, get ready for all the uh, weekend activities that are coming up over from the Friday onwards. First thing that's happening on Friday, and uh, one of the highlights of the weekend, one of the highlights, and that's the Slock Mountain Road Close. That's the A36, and that's a fabulous road. You'll get to do two closed road runs. Um, as with a lot of the roads on the Isle of Man, they are uh, declassified, um, so you're gonna have a great couple of runs on that. In your road book, it will give you the time that you need to be at the Slock Mountain Road. Now, we do ask you to be there on time. Please don't be too early, maybe four or five minutes early, but don't be late either. It's important because we have different groups coming at different times, and if you turn up early, then you're gonna get, in, you're gonna get mixed up with one of the groups that are doing an existing run, and that will cause us chaos, and it will sort of make life difficult for everybody. So please turn up at your time designated in your road book, and that is by group, group one to seven and that gives you a designated time to arrive at the slock we'll also send you out in your road book your maps how to get to the slock mountain there's also what three words which you can just put into your sat nav and find the location and we'll also send you by email some links for you getting from the sefton express from the best western palace or the commerce hotel getting to the slock mountain road and you must come in from the bottom please don't come in from the top because you won't be allowed to come down the road because it's all one way being the road closed okay so the groups timings on friday for the slock mountain roads are determined and the most important thing of it all please arrive as near to the time as possible that you can. If your group is 10.55, please don't arrive at half past 10 or, or don't arrive late because that causes us enormous problems. You'll then get to two closed road runs on the Slot Mountain Road. Fantastic, fantastic drive, fantastic scenery up there. Fingers crossed on the weather, it'll be wonderful, okay? So that's on Friday. Friday, the rest of the day, whether your Slot Mountain runs are in the morning or the afternoon, the rest of the day is at leisure to enjoy some of the sights and attractions of the island, whether it be Laxey, whether it be the Sound, whether it be the Isle of Man Festival Motor and Museum or wherever you wanna go, that's for you to decide for the rest of the day. So on Saturday, okay, the day is, again is at totally at leisure and the road book gives you all the information you need about the attractions on the island. There's also a guidebook in there, so I'm sure you'll find plenty to do on the, on the island. For those of you on Saturday who have booked the Pie in the Sky, which is a sellout, really popular event, then you need to be at Laxey and in your road book is a map where the parking is. The parking is what they call the washing floors. It's an area where they used to wash all the slate. Um, We've got parking there, and then from there, it's just a short walk up the hill to get to the trams that take you up Snaffel Mountain and to the Victory Cafe. And then once you get to the Victory Cafe, your tables will be pre-allocated so that we keep everyone who wants to be together, together, and then you have a great evening, pie and mash, drink when you arrive, or chance of drinks, and some good entertainment up there, which I hope you'll enjoy. And then we'll bring the, the tram back down in the evening, pick up your cars, and away you go. 
If you do have any walking difficulties, there is a little bit of parking up top nearer to where the trams start, but that is limited. So, you know, get there, you know, the tram, first trams go at six o'clock. So you do need to be there in plenty of time to, to be up there ready for your tram ride up to the, uh, up to the Victory Cafe. That's Saturday. Sunday is um, a, another great day. We have arranged, and it was really popular last year, and it happened by, by chance, a big uh, sports car and classic car gathering at the Isle of Man Motor Museum. Big car parking areas up there, and the Manx Classic Car Club come along, and some other individual in, you know, enthusiasts on the island all come along, bring their cars out. You're welcome to be there as part of that car display, and we call it a car gathering. Um, and at the same time, that may be a great opportunity for you to use your admission voucher to go into the museum, which is open all day on Sunday from 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, you can go at another time, but bear in mind your voucher only includes one admission. So if you go in on Friday or Saturday, then you won't be able to use that same voucher again on Sunday. There is food and drink available there at the guardhouse as well. And that's uh, a, an informal classic car gathering from 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. Then on Sunday, you also have um, afternoon tea arranged at the Kregna Bar, which is the famous uh, pub on the TT Mountain Road as you come down from the hill. Okay, and again in your road book are the times and they are again organized by group. Now, when I have mentioned groups, in your road book, in the very front of, of, the, of the boat, but don't have to open it, in the pocket in the front of the book is a sticker. Now it's important that you put that sticker where the instructions ask you to put it on your, on your front of your window screen, in front of your rear view mirror. That's really important for us so that we can determine which group you're in for the different activities. So put that sticker on the front windscreen of your car, windscreen, they are easily removable. They just peel off. You can reposition it. They're, really, they're called repositional vinyl for that reason. And put that in the front. And then when you arrive at the slot, when you arrive at the different places, we'll know what group you are. And that will determine A, the time of your slot runs, and B, the times of your afternoon tea at the Craigner Bar. Those times are again in your road book, as is then after you've had your afternoon tea at the, bar, at the Craigner Bar, you'll drop down from the Cregna Bar, five, 10 minute drive into the TT pit lanes where we've, our, all our photographers will be waiting to do a photo shoot of your cars in the pit lanes. Um, and then you, they, they'll become available on our website free of charge. You can just download those as you want. So that's pretty much all the events of the weekend. So lots of free time, but the slock on Friday, the uh, pie in the sky on Saturday evening for those of you who have booked, um, the Classic and Sports Car Gathering at Jerby on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, from 10 o'clock. And then your admission to the uh, Isle of Man Motor Museum can be any time during the day, but a lot of people I know will, will use that on Sunday. And then also whilst you're at Jerby, the Isle of Man Transport Museum is open. That is free of charge. It's run by volunteers. Just need to make a, a, a small donation that helps them to keep the, the museum open. And then of course your Cregna Bar afternoon tea and uh, pit lanes photo shoots. That's really all of it. So when you get your road book through the post, have a good read through, give you all the information you want. If you do have any questions, then please call us. But myself, Kieran and Oliver will all be at the Isle, on the Isle of Man waiting to see you there. And if you have any questions there, of course, we'll just point you in the right direction day by day to do the different stuff. So have a fantastic um, trip over the Isle of Man. I know you're going to, it's really it's sold out again this year. It's become really popular. And uh, we look forward to seeing you then on the, I think it's the 15th of May. See you all then. Bye.